Today we have two premium tournament collection boxes, Marty versus Professor Juniper. Which box has the better contents on the inside? Let's go ahead and open these up and let's find out. I will be giving away the entire contents of the Marnie premium tournament collection box. This box was gifted to me by tallgrasscards.com to give away to one lucky community member. So everything that we pull on the inside of this box will be going to one of you. Just subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below letting me know who you like more, Professor Juniper or Marnie. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the contents on the inside of each one of these boxes. The Marnie premium tournament collection released last year, August August 6, 2021. It does feature the one full art Marnie card, the three additional foil supporter cards, 65 card sleeves, you got the deck box, you have seven additional packs, you have so much value on the inside of each one of these milk carton like boxes. It's just absolutely crazy. These are $39.99 at MSRP retail price. The Marnie box is currently sitting around $65 to $70 on eBay if you want to pick one of them up. Professor Juniper box just released, so you can readily find that at retail cost right now. I'm sure that they have different packs on the inside, but we do have the full art Professor Juniper card. We have the deck sleeves. We have the deck box. We have the metallic coin. Let's go ahead and let's open these up. I will be giving away all the code cards to you guys today, so make sure you guys redeem the code cards as we get into them. I have never opened up one of these Marnie boxes before. As most of you know, I, I really do try and get all of my products at retail cost or below. And since I was unable to find one of these Marnie boxes on release, I just didn't buy one. I just completely went without buying one of these. So this is the first time I'm seeing the contents on the inside of this box. Here's the Marnie pack. This is Sword and Shield promo number 121. Very, very nice card. The code card's on the inside of there. So we're actually going to go ahead and open this up so we can get the code card out of here and take a look at those holographic supporter cards as well. Go ahead and let's take a look. We got the Marnie there. And then here are the holographics. I actually really like the holographic card more than I like the full art. I just really like the Cosmos foil pattern. It's just super, super nice. So we got three of those. And there's the code card for you guys to go ahead and redeem that. Marnie is a very, very playable card, very powerful in the trading card game online. So make sure you guys redeem that code card. It'll definitely help you with your decks. Those promo cards just look so, so good. The Full Art Marnie card right now is currently selling for right around $25 to $30 on TCG Player and eBay. Each one of these holographic cards sell for approximately $3 to $4 as well. So just between the four promo cards that you get on the inside, it's worth more than the retail cost of the box. And then you have everything else on the inside. So... As you can see, there's a very, very good reason for this box to be so expensive. All right, let's go ahead and take out the next item inside of this Marnie Premium Tournament Collection box. Here are the deck sleeves. The deck sleeves actually sell for right around $9 as well. They're very, very popular. Uh, it contains 65 card sleeves. A lot of people do combine the code card, the coin, and all of the extra stuff on the inside of these boxes, minus the promos and the packs, for right around $20 to $25. Very cool deck sleeves there. Let's go ahead and grab out that deck box. I'm kind of curious if this is like a paper deck box or what kind of deck box this is. They actually stuffed all of the packs on the inside of the deck box, which is really cool. This is a pretty high quality deck box. I'm really, really happy with the quality of this box. Let's go ahead and see what packs we have on the inside. Even if you just consider each one, one of these packs at MSRP, with seven pack, around $4 for each pack, you have $28 in packs. Right, so we have one Darkness of Blaze, we have one Vivid Voltage, two Battle Styles, and three Chilling Rain. So the pack selection on the inside of the Marnie box isn't really that good, but it's still such, it is, is a very, very amazing box. We got the Poison and the Burn Counter there. We got the really cool Marnie colored themed dice. Those are very, very nice as well. Let's go ahead and slide the coin out of here. Let's take a look at this Jumbo coin here. And it does feature Marnie. I'm sure that that code card that I gave away has the deck sleeves, the coin, and the promo cards. So make sure you guys grab that up. Look at that coin. That is really, really cool. So for obvious reasons, you can see why this Marnie box sells for well over the MSRP retail price, even though it is a fairly new item. Let's go ahead and let's open up the Juniper box and see what the contents on the inside of that are. And then we will open up all the packs. I will be giving away all the code cards from the packs as well. So make sure you guys stick around for those. All right, let's go ahead and grab the first thing. Looks like we have the deck box, exactly the same build and quality as the Marnie box. Man, that's such good artwork there. You got the Minchino right there. Let's go ahead and check out what packs are on the inside. Let's see if it has a better pack selection than the Marnie box. So right away, we have Brilliant Stars. Just by seeing the first two packs, this is already a better pack selection. We have three Brilliant Stars. 
we have two Fusion Strike, one Evolving Skies, and one Chilling Rain. So the Juniper Box pack selection is far superior than the Marnie Box collection. Let's go ahead and let's grab out the promo cards here. Looks like they actually hid the promo cards. We gotta, we have to open up the entire pack here just to get it out. Let's go ahead and open up this pack. We'll grab out that code card for you guys, and we'll take a look at the Juniper promo cards. Each one of the Juniper promo cards, the full art selling for approximately $15 right now. I'm sure that price will come down quite a bit. So many different versions of the professor's research that it's just not going to hold up in value like the Marnie will. Very, very nice holographic pattern. I really like the holographics of these better than the full arts. And there's the full art professor's research. Around a $15 card right now. I don't ever really see this card going crazy high in value. There's a lot of black and white era and X and Y era full art professor Juniper cards. So it really does limit the overall high end potential for this card specifically. Let's go ahead and grab that code card. Can't remember if I gave it to you guys or not. Go ahead and redeem that. Go ahead and take a look at the rest of the stuff on the inside of this box. We have the really cool Juniper colored dice there. And then we have the Juniper coin. I actually like that coin a lot. And the deck sleeves, very, very nice deck sleeves, around $20 for all of that stuff combined. It's kind of interesting that they went from these style bags for the dice to an actual Ziploc bag. I kind of prefer these because you can just reuse these over and over again. Let's take a look at the poison and burn counter because these are different as well. As you can see, they're much more shiny than the Marnie box ones. Let me get this into focus. <laughs> coins there all right let's go ahead and get into these packs so far honestly i think the professor juniper box is a better deal considering that you can pick these up at retail cost right now the pack selection is better and the cards on the inside are honestly just as cool as the marnies in my opinion if you're a big fan of marnie obviously you're going to want that box but this is a really really good value at the retail price that you can get it for right now i'm sure that these are going to increase in value quite a bit as time goes along same with the Marnie box. Let's go ahead and let's get into the packs here. We're going to do the Professor Juniper packs first. We will be giving away all the pulls from the Marnie packs. Make sure you guys stick around for those. We do give away all of the code cards in every single one of my videos. So make sure you guys turn on that notification bell. That way you guys can always be the first to come and get those code cards. Let's see what we can get out of our first Fusion Strike pack here. We got the Schoolgirl and the non-holographic Cloister. Let's go with Fusion Strike pack number two. Chase cards from Fusion Strike are the Altart Gengar VMAX. The really, really nice Sylveon VMAX as well. All the alt arts are just really, really good. It does contain all of the really powerful Mew VMAX cards and Genesect cards as well. Just a really, really good solid overall set. I think a booster box right now will set you back around $95. It has been increasing in price pretty steadily. It was down close to $75 there for a while, even on eBay. But the price has started to climb back up, which is awesome. Let's go into Brilliant Stars here. Brilliant Stars... Really, you just want to see all the Arceus cards. The Charizard cards would be very, very nice as well. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. We got the Freshwater set, Starmie. We got the Weavile, Duskull, Purloin. We got Shroomish and the Reverse Holographic Prinplup and a non-holographic Mewtwo. All right, so far, we have got absolutely nothing from our packs. We still got a few packs here to go. Let's see what we can get. Code card there for you guys. Look how off-centered that code card is. That's kind of wild. Very, very off-centered there. Let's see what we can get. We do have a V-Star marker here, which is really, really cool. You do get those in place of some of the energy cards. All right, we got the Executor. We got the Choice Belt. Very powerful card. Choice Belt's used in just about every single competitive deck to get that additional bonus. We got the Ball Toy, Reverse Holographic Golurk, and the Holographic Empoleon. Very, very nice card there. Let's see what we can get out of our Charizard pack. Brilliant Stars here. Been kind of rough on the poll so far. Hopefully we can get something really good out of the Marnie box to send to you guys. Let's find out. Code card for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem that. All right, let's see what we can get here. We've got a fifth pack out of seven. Let's see what pulls we can get. We got the Burmy, Spear Tomb, Magmar, Corefish. We've got the Character Rare Oranguru card. Very, very nice. Last time I checked, that was only around $2. It's not a very expensive card, but man, does it look really, really good. All of the Trainer Gallery cards on the inside of this set are just so much fun to pull just makes it a really really good overall set all right evolving skies has so many big hitter cards all the evolution alt arts on the inside of this are just absolutely amazing there's also the really nice requaza looks like we're going to be getting absolutely nothing though because of that code card let's find out let's see if that code card means anything look how dirty and off-centered this card is that is absolutely disgusting 
All right, let's just kind of go through this one quickly here. We got the Vigoroth, Emolga, Applin, Pikachu, got the Cutie Fly, Ampharos, and the Pinsir. Look how terribly inked and dirty these cards are. That's wild. Really, really good quality control there, right? All right, we got a Chilling Rain pack here. Chilling Rain is one of my favorite sets. That's a very, very dirty pack as well. That's interesting. It is a white and green code card, so maybe we can get something good out of this one. I think Chilling Rain is a very underrated set. I think long term it's going to do really, really well. It has a ton of full art trainer cards on the inside of it. A lot of waifu type style trainer cards on the inside of it. And it has really, really good chase cards as well. There we go. Metagross V, our first ultra rare hit. So we got one ultra rare hit and one character rare from our seven packs. Definitely not worth opening up. Let's go ahead and move on into the Marnie packs. We are going to be giving away all of the hits from the Marnie box. So hopefully... The good hits come from this box. Looks like we're going to be starting it off with something good here. Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze. Basically, you just want to see the Charizard VMAX. There is a very, very nice uh, Rainbow Rare Butterfree VMAX inside of this set as well. That is my personal favorite card. Got the Bone Sweet. We got the Reverse Holographic Ursarine. And the Vicavolt Ultra Rare Hit. Starting it off with an Ultra Rare Hit. All right, we got Vivid Voltage coming up. You want to see the Chunky Chew Pikachus or the Pikachu V Maxes. You can also pull Amazing Rares in the Reverse Hollow slot of Vivid Voltage, which makes it one of my favorite sets in recent memory. Even if you don't get a good hit on the last card, you can still get a really, really good pull from the Reverse Holographic slot, which is always really, really nice. If you have multiple chances to get a really, really good pull, it just makes it so much fun to do. We're not going to be getting an Amazing Rare. But we do have something back here. We got an Ampharos V back-to-back -back ultra rare hits, both electric types. That's pretty cool. All of the pulls from the Marnie box are going to be going to one of you guys. Even the full art Marnie back there, that's a $30 card by itself. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below letting me know who you like more, Marnie or Juniper, for a chance to win those cards. Green code card there from Battle Styles. Not even going to bother doing the card trick here. We got the Drampaw and the Honchkrow. And Didi on the back end, that Hand Kinesis is actually a really fun attack to use if you can pull it off. It does 10 damage for every card in your hand. You can pair that with a bunch of drawing engine cards like the Crobat line. You can have a lot of fun. Another green code card, so we're just going to shuffle through this as well. Let's see what we got. We got the Esper, and it was actually a lie. The green code card was not correct. We did get a Tapu Koko V Ultra Rare hit from this pack. So technically an error pack right there. Got the Reverse Holographic Esper. So far, all three of our hits have been Electric Type Ultra Rares. Very, very nice. Let's see what we can get from our first Chilling Rain pack here. Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem that. Man, look how terrible these cards are. Look at those edges on those cards. They're tore up. We haven't even played with the cards yet, and they're already tore up. We got the Darkness Energy. We got Doctor. We got the Celio Peonier. Two of those cards are actually some of the full art waifu trainer cards I was talking about earlier. Delibird, Reverse Holographic, Passimian, and a Gold Fan of Waves Secret Rare card. This is a lot of fun to be able to get. This right now is selling for right around $7 or so. It's not a super valuable card, but it's so much fun to be able to pull a gold card from a pack. That's going to be going to one of you guys with the Marnies. Very, very good playable card. Removes a special energy from your opponent's Pokemon. Puts it back into their deck. It's a really good way to handicap your opponent's Arceus V stars right now and even Mew V Max decks. Basically, every single deck is playing double turbo energy right now. Let's see what else we can get here. We got two packs left. Got the Grass Energy. Path to the Peak. Very, very strong card right there. I think the uh, gold Path to the Peak is coming out in Astral Radiance, which will be a lot of fun. Got the Inke, Rock Rough, Ghastly, and the Spirit Tomb. Nothing too crazy there. All right, guys, one pack left. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these boxes. Do you guys think the Marnie box is better? Do you guys think the Professor Juniper box is better? Let me know down in the comments. We've got one pack left. We've got the Lightning Energy, Flaffy, Clara. we got the Hunter, Hatena, Aeron. we got Ralt, Bone Sweet. We've got the Welcoming Lantern and the Malamar, Rapid Strike Malamar. This is a very powerful deck. I do appreciate you guys watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.